Yeah, so, yeah, hello everyone. Um, my name is Thorsten Behrens. I work for uh, CIB, um, that company there. Um, we're sponsoring um, this com conference together with uh, um, um, Collabora and Canonical. Um, first of all, I'd like to express my uh, infinite uh, gratitude to the organizers. Um, I know a little bit how much work it is. I was involved with the Berlin LibreOffice Conference. So hats off um, to you guys, to Red Hat, to Open Alt. Uh, thanks so much for this wonderful conference. Um, yeah, and with that, um, I'd like to bore you a little bit uh, with um, some uh, stuff that CIB um, is doing um, for LibreOffice and in other areas. Um, let me see if I can, yeah, that, that works even. So, um, first of all, um, since not all of you might know uh, CIB, we are a German-based company. Um, spreads a bit across Europe. Meanwhile, it's a company is uh, more than uh, 26 years old, so um, uh, founded in the end of the 80s. Um, so, these are some, some random numbers. Um, Probably to highlight, there's the, the number of LibreOffice um, seats um, that we um, service at various customer sites. Um, beyond that, the company is um, pretty much self-financing. Um, very proud that we invest um, about 14% of, um, of the revenues into back into research and development. Um, currently, I think about 167 um, employees. That sometimes that changes on a daily, on a daily basis. Um, yeah, so very, very uh, strong historically um, with banking and insurances, um, and um, also in the public sector. Um, so LibreOffice for CIB is not the entire business; it's part of the business. It has ties into lots of the other, lots of other parts of the, what this, the company is doing. Um, but we are very happy and very proud part of the LibreOffice community. Um, and um, we will get to that later in this talk. Um, the investment in the team and uh, what we're doing there, I think, is, um, is significant. <clears throat> so, Yes, you can see that, um, um, as I say, we've spread uh, over Europe. We have uh, offices, a few office offices in Germany. We have a um, near-shoring office in Belarus, in Minsk, um, where um, really excellent, um, especially C++ um, hackers can be found. Uh, we have, since um, about two years, an office on Gran Canaria in Las Palmas. <coughs> um, um, the, the idea behind that was um, growing out of the, um, the Euro crisis, actually. So um, there was um, Spain, and especially the, the off mainland areas of Spain had lots of unemployment. Um, and since the, um, Uli, the, the, the owner of the company, has quite a strong, um, also quite a strong social um, consciousness and he had ties to Las Palmas, he said that oh, it would be great to combine uh, what's, what's good for the, for the local economy and what's good for the business. And so he set up a, a local office there with, I think, now some, some 15 employees. Um, so, yeah, that was, um, that was that. This is pretty much just the same what I was just telling you, just a bit more text, so for the benefit of the people who would then just later on see the slides. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you overly with that. Um, next slide. So, um, this is, that was like, who is CIB? And now let's talk a little bit about what is CIB doing. Um, you see there's... Um, Four large areas, LibreOffice is um, one of that. Um, the other areas um, is, um, well, first of all, what's really at the core of the CIB um, 
business or the, the uh, what's the what's the our core competencies, and that's really we see ourselves as a a, a vertical um, company. So we try to provide an end-to-end -end solution for sometimes very very specialized problems, like um, generating. Um, very, very complex templated documents for banks and insurances, insurances who tend to have very complex uh, legal texts. So um, that's actually, the, that was the, um, the founding um, product uh, for the company. Um, and um, so, yeah, well, the, the mission statement really is um, we, you have a problem, a very special problem, and we try to solve that end to end for you. Um, employing whatever tools are necessary, either from our own portfolio um, or when we find something open source or something else on the market, but try to really provide an end-to-end -end solution for very sp special problems. And love all of you to challenge us on that. Um, as I say, the four um, big pillars that the company is um, um, working on is PDF, gen both generating and processing, um, LibreOffice, um, consulting, LibreOffice um, operation, LibreOffice support and service. Um, invoices, so the whole digital um, office story, like end-to-end -end paperless office, um, no more printing, no more like signing by hand, um, but, but as providing solutions to public sector and banks and insurances to have end-to-end -end digital document life cycle. Um, that's a very, very, uh, very big part of the business, and also data exchange safely and securely. And we're a German-based company, so we take data protection very, very seriously, <coughs> and um, we, we're proud to host everything um, in Germany. Um, so that really helps with banks and insurances to comply with regulations. Yeah. Um, so for LibreOffice, um, that means um, that we, beyond servicing LibreOffice and having LibreOffice as a product, we also use LibreOffice as a building block. So we, we integrate LibreOffice into lots of our products. Uh, where it fits, we use LibreOffice as the customer um, to solve a problem, either by having it running on your desktop or by running it on the server or by running it on your mobile phone, um, whatever is necessary to, to, to solve the problem. Uh, we also um, um, heavily invested into integrating LibreOffice itself, like the, the desktop version um, for the most, into other systems, either by embedding or by providing connectors or by writing extensions or by writing macros um, to, to connect it with other parts of your business. Um, yeah, um, well, we're, for example, um, helping the city of Munich to, um, to run their LibreOffice instance and also to automate their daily tasks and integrate with the third party software there. Um, company itself, as I say, comes from uh, um, document generation. So we also know a lot about um, interoperability. Um, the, the challenge has always been um, in the past and in the present, usually to generate and read documents that would later then be read by Microsoft Office users. So we really know a lot about RTF, we really know a lot about OXML, and the LibreOffice part of the team, of course, also knows a lot about ODF and how to make it work um, with other applications. So we, we really try to um, not be there to say, oh, everybody should just use LibreOffice because that's usually, that's very desirable and I'd love this to happen. But on the way to that um, end goal, you have to interact with other people, you have to interoperate with other people and that means you need to send documents that should look reasonably well on the other side and then you get it back and it should load and be a reasonably accurate uh, representation of what the sender was intending. Um, so, and I think we, uh, we do have considerable expertise there and also a vast trove of test documents collected over 26 years. Lots of corner cases that we 
employ um, with testing and QA to make sure it actually works with the interoperability. So that was the broader company perspective. Now, um, what are we doing for LibreOffice in particular? Um, as I say, the um, company is um, about 100, a bit less than 170 people, and some uh, 15 of that staff is in some ways dedicated to LibreOffice work. Um, here's the names um, of them. You will find four of us during this conference. I will get to that later. <coughs> Um, and that ranges from core developers like really hands down uh, C++ to Java integration to micro integration to um, training and um, business process analysis. Um, yeah, those are the people here. Um, we're also very proud supporter of the community in various uh, ways and various means. Uh, for example, through sponsoring conferences like this one, Hackfests, other meetups. Um, we also sponsor LibreOffice development by giving time to, um, to, the, um, to the core developers that we employ to work on the code base. <clears throat> and we are part of the um, TDF advisory board um, and also part of my time that I spend um, for, for TDF uh, for the board and other areas that, that needs doing like, I don't know, things, doing the paperwork in the background, etc. cetera. Um, part of that is in company time. So um, yes, we do um, support LibreOffice in, in various ways. Um, a bit more personal, so this is uh, the pictures of the, the core development team that I could fit um, on one slide. Um, if you look around this room, you beyond myself, you find three more people. Uh, this is my wonderful wife, Bubli, sitting over there. Uh, this is uh, Armin, right next to him, to her, and Samuel, to the right of Armin. Um, please do reach out uh, to us. I will try to talk to all of you over the course of the conference, but I have to acknowledge that conference is usually tons of things to do and slides to hack and to run around, so please also, if, um, if you want to ask me something or if you want uh, to ask the, the guys from the team something, just approach us. We're here to talk to, with you, um, and if you have a problem or if you have a question, we're here to, to answer that. Um, yeah, so just to, to name the names, this is uh, Katrina, this is uh, uh, Dr. Carlos Luke, this is uh, David Ostrovsky, this is uh, from, from left to right, first row. Uh, this is Vasily Milenchuk, this is Armin Weiss, this is Oliver Specht, uh, this is um, Jürgen Funk. <laughs> uh, sorry, Armin Le Grand. <laughs> but it's a very white picture. Um, Jürgen Funk, um, Samuel Merbrot, Serge Kott, and uh, yours truly. So, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be part of this wonderful team. Um, okay, so that was the uh, who is CIB and what is CIB and, um, sorry, um, um, who's the team? So um, now what is um, the, um, the offering that we have, the portfolio at CIB? Um, so what we see ourselves, as I outlined earlier, is we want to be a um, reliable and all-round service provider. So if, if, you, if, you want to, um, if you want to deploy LibreOffice, if you want to run LibreOffice, we want to be there and offer you a one-stop um, solution. So wh whether you need support, whether you need bug fixing, whether you need LTS or trainings, we will be there for you um, as a one-stop um, provider of all those services, either doing that ourselves or um, by partners. Um, and so this is kind of the, um, the, um, that's the ramp up to, to running LibreOffice. So we, we, we want to start with, uh, with support. I will get to that in a second. So if you have a problem, 
would love you to come to us and um, for, for us to help you solve that problem in whichever way. That can be just pointing you to some uh, online resources or um, um, in the extreme making you an offer for, for a custom bug fix. Um, also what I, what I said, um, the um, entire area of integration, third party integration, developing bespoke solutions, extensions, um, even macros um, if you want to, and individual bug fixing. Um, and once you decide it, and once you have a pilot running, and if you um, um, plan to roll it out, then we'll also be there to provide you with trainings um, for, for employees, for your, for your people to, to be happy running LibreOffice. And kind of the basis of all of that um, that's um, in, the, in the bottom right corner is the long-term support offering, um, which is um, by per default is three years um, support um, period that we offer to give you peace of mind when you deploy LibreOffice that you don't have to um, update and migrate to the next version every six months. Um, yes, but again, what, what we want to be um, is say, um, it's a full service provider and to give you peace of mind, uh, to give you planning security, planning safety by, as I say, offering you long-term support, offering you fi fixed price offerings in various ways, be that for bug fixing, be that for, um, um, for, for the long-term support. Um, we also have, um, we also promise um, severity-based response times. So if you sign up um, for us, then um, we promise to get back, in a, depending on the severity of your problem, um, in a um, finite time, usually two days. And of course, with the um, versions that we released, we have the properly Q8 uh, run through internal test suites um, that we have so that you can be sure uh, the interoperability side works as well. Okay, um, beyond that, um, what else are we doing? So um, this is not just um, empty talk. We, we, we do put money where our mouth is. So we support, as I say, we support LibreOffice projects in various ways. We also um, contribute to um, standardization, be that for PDF, be that for um, ODF. Uh, we're a member of the Open Source Business Alliance. Um, I'd like to um, highlight also in the context of interoperability a workshop uh, that I will be leading tomorrow, um, which is about uh, bringing critical mass together for, from public sector and users of, uh, um, corporate users of LibreOffice to get harder bugs fixed. So the idea, and it has worked uh, quite well in the past, um, it started, I think, in 2012 for the first round, is to um, get people in the room that um, use LibreOffice and let them tell what is their problem and then discover that actually many people have similar problems, um, but all of them usually don't have that much money. So the trick would then be to say, okay, we agree on this set of problems that we want fixed because it affects all of us. And we all put money in, in, on the table and then we, find, we match that with a... Um, with a service provider uh, to fix this larger problem for all of us. Um, and we'll try to redo that. It is the, the third round uh, for the uh, OSBI, um, OSBA working group office interoperability and we will meet tomorrow. And I'd love to see many of you there. It's um, in the second track, starts at two o'clock. So if you run LibreOffice um, in, in the public sector or in your office, I'd love to see you there. Um, yeah, DocsNet, that's, um, uh, that's a German association about document generation, document lifecycle and storing, where we're also a member. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's the, um, as I say, the, um, our idea about how to um, how, to, how to help people migrate to LibreOffice starts with support. So we'd like to help you. If there's wonderful 
really, really excellent um, community help channels, mailing lists, ask for forum. Um, and we'd love you to go there first. But if you, for example, are a bank or an insurance company or a public office and you cannot share your documents in public, um, I'd like to highlight this as an opportunity uh, to approach us. Um, and um, we will look into your um, query, either point you do the research and the legwork for you, point you to a public uh, forum uh, where there probably already is an answer, or failing that, um, helping you or perhaps making you an offer. Uh, we currently um, offer that in German, Spanish, and English, because that's where our that's the languages our people speak. But I suppose most of you master English good enough, so that, that's hopefully universal enough. Um, so yeah, the, the page, um, that's the QR code, that's all on the, on the company, uh, on, on those rollouts, and it's on the, it's on the, um, on the program. Um, the URL is here, liberals.zip.de support, uh, that gets you there. Um, yes, and as I say, that's, that's our idea of um, supporting. This is a free offer, so we, we do the Slack work for you for free. If, that, if there's a bug fix needed, of course, at some stage we would need to give you a quote for that, but as they say, the first, the first answer is free. Um, that's a few references to give you an idea um, about the, the spectrum the company is working in um, and who's trusting us with, uh, with their um, hard IT problems. I don't want to go over that, just highlight a few. This is. Um, Greenpeace, that's um, lots of uh, mostly German banks and insurances. So from the, from the, so in Germany, that, that there's, there's pretty much um, most of the banks are either Sparkassen um, or um, this Volksbank, this um, Banco Popolare, um, comparable to, to Italy. And um, we're kind of serving both. Um, and public, public service, City of Munich, I, I listed them. Then, uh, um, Vienna Bundesrechenzentrum and a number of others, um, and of course also industry partners like BMW. Okay, so I'm, I think, slowly running out of time. With that, um, this is the last slide. I'd like to highlight the, um, the talks that my team is uh, having during this conference. Um, so um, that would be my wife with uh, uh, in total five talks, which is quite a number. I don't know, how, how do you manage? <laughs> so that's um, um, today, this could be very interesting, um, this whole outreach uh, question, uh, liberal office uh, with a female touch and then workshops and um, um, the, um, some brainstorming around how to increase diversity, that could be very interesting. Um, then there's a screenshot um, help screenshot topic that we're very proud to um, implement for the uh, Document Foundation as a tender. And um, Bubli and Armin will um, demo that a bit and talk about how we implemented that. Um, tomorrow there's um, a bit of UI um, a hacking introduction. So if you're interested um, in getting into how to develop the core LibreOffice UI, that's the talk you should go to. Um, Bubli will, will tell you how to do that. Um, and finally, on Friday, uh, there's going to be a business track in Czech. And um, well, luckily, Bubli is a Czech native speaker, so that um, fits nicely. And she will pretty much explain a bit uh, in more detail what, what CIB is doing um, there. So if you're Czech, go there on Friday. Um, Armin. I uh, have today um, as, um, the, um, the screenshot talk together with Bubli, and tomorrow, since he's a, uh, how, many, how many years have you been working on, on, on that code? Some, some 20 by now? Uh, let's, let's make it 20. <laughs> so forever. Um, so now, I mean, we'll, um, so this is not really code, but this is really the user interface, tips and tricks, and all the secret keyboard shortcuts um, for Draw and Impress to really make effective use of that application. Um, I very much look forward to that. I was struggling with Impress. Um, yeah. 
Um, um, third one would be Samuel. Um, Samuel has uh, two talks on Friday. Um, one is about extension development. Um, that's um, around the Eclipse LibreOffice um, plugin, how to, how to develop extensions there. Um, it's more like a, like a workshop, more like how to hands on. So if you're interested in developing Java extensions or Python extensions, that's the talk to go. And um, then uh, together with uh, yours truly um, on Friday, there's um, another talk about um, uh, the larger topic of integrating LibreOffice um, into various applications, like embedding it into a rich client application or connecting it to, to services. Um, <clears throat> yes, and finally myself. So um, tomorrow, uh, some, uh, that's another uh, TDF tender that we were happy um, to implement. This is about document validation during um, development. So to integrate that with the unit test framework, there was great work done by Marcus Mohart and that we just built on top of that and streamlined that a little bit and make it a bit easier to use and to have it run um, all the time. And as I said, the uh, OSBA interop uh, meeting and finally on Friday, um, this um, larger embedding topic and um, um, yeah, sorry, I mixed that up. Um, tomorrow, this is about ODF changes. Sorry, um, Spanche, this is with you. <laughs> um, yeah, that could be interesting. Um, so the, the, this, um, the tenant that was the last one that's on Friday. So the, the Spanche and myself will be, that's the GSOC project. Um, and it's about um, how to store atomic changes to a document in XML, um, which is quite relevant in terms uh, in the state and age when you want to uh, interoperate if you have um, distributed systems like a cloud version, like a desktop version, and you want to collaboratively edit a document um, and how to achieve that. And it could be interesting insight into, it's for, for the while it's a prototype, um, it's a demo, um, but it's a, there's a way or there are ways to, to do that kind of efficiently and with uh, very small atomic changes. So I think I'm uh, almost at the end of my time. I won't bore you further. Um, I thank you very much for your attention. Um, thank you very much for coming. Again, great thank yous uh, to the organizers and I hand over to Michael for the next one.